Well, I, I think that's true of all the smartphones, all the, uh, you know, all the email everywhere. I think you're, you are reachable everywhere. You always, I mean, I, I find myself staying up very late at night answering emails. I think that's true of, of every uh, form of, uh, you know, thanks to the Internet. So I, I, don't, I don't necessarily think it's uh, working later or working more hours, but I think it's another form. Of, it's just another form. It's a, journalism is evolving like everything else is evolving. Companies should definitely make a very big effort to uh, further gen gender equality. But I think that, as a speaking as a woman, I think, um, and I've worked for years as a journalist, I, I mean, I'd, I would like to think that I'm as good as any man, and I would like the gender equality to come and I think most women feel that. They'd like to, it to come because they're as good as a man. And I think they would not like to be underpaid. They'd like to be paid the same as a man. Well, in the United States, I don't think you need to enforce it because a lot of women are elected to office. I mean, of course women should ask for, for um, raise increases because men do. So I thought it was a very, very unfortunate and wrong thing to say because um, why shouldn't women ask for raises just as, as men do? I think, uh, frankly, the bigger issue is that the technology companies are hiring fewer women, women and there may be, you, I, I suppose the technology companies would argue that there are fewer women engineers, and so hopefully I think that, that that would be rectified over the next few years. And there'll be more engineers and more the technology companies will hire more women, hopefully. I think the U.S. has done a re really pretty good job. I mean, I watch my own daughter, who's a very able working person, um, her generation is so different from the way my generation was. And my mother's generation, it was really unique that she was, you know, a, a publisher and a CEO. It was, she was like one out of, she was the only woman in the boardroom most of the time. In my generation, there were women, a lot of women that worked. A lot of my friends work. And they're very successful, I would say. But it was a struggle. It was harder. In the next generation, my daughter's generation, I would say, it's common. Everybody works, and they're every. And I would say they're much more. They have much higher ranking jobs, and it's just taken for granted, really, that women do much better in the next generation. And I think you have a. You're going to have a candidate, I think, for president in the Democratic Party, Hillary Clinton, who's going to be a woman. Now I don't know that she's going to get elected, but I really would be very surprised if she doesn't get the nomination, which is a really big deal. She'll be the first woman nominee for, for the presidency ever. Okay, I think in America that women have made amazing strides. Of course, there are more strides to go, but I think they've made a huge amount of progress, and I'm sure they will continue to progress.